Hi, it's Carly McAvoy. Today I'm talking about translating expressions. And remember that sum is plus or addition, difference is minus, product means multiply, and quotient means divide. And so we want to be able to use those terms, but also other keywords that help us know what we're doing when we translate. So in the first one, we have a number subtracted from negative three. So the subtracted obviously means that we're going to be subtracting, but we're going to be subtracting a number from negative three. So if I want to type that out, I can say um, negative three, and then we're subtracting some number. So notice that whatever we, we, because we said the number was being subtracted from something, that number has to go second. And I'm doing a lot of subtraction examples because those are the ones people have a little bit harder time with. The difference of six and four times a number, again, a difference is subtraction again. And then when you say a difference, you have to write your expression in the order that it was stated. So again, I'm going to say I have the difference of six, and then I'm subtracting four times a number, which I can use any variable I want here unless I'm giving some specific directions. So this is the difference of six and four times a number. What about this, six less than a number? If I asked you six less than your age, you would take your age and subtract six. And so that's what we have to do here. We want to say some number, uh, we'll say K, and then, um, whoops, we want to say six, K minus six, sorry. So six less than some number. It's the number that we have to put first because it's six less than that. So notice that we have to really think about which goes first in, in, when we're working with subtraction. Okay, the next one is the sum of triple a number and seven. So when I hear sum, I know it's addition and that and in the middle separates the two parts. So triple a number, triple a number is like getting triple time at work, right? So we wanna make sure you don't say to the third power because it's just three times something when it's triple. And then and seven means plus seven. So triple a number and seven. Okay, the next one is the product of negative two and the sum of a number and negative three. So, <clears throat> It's a little awkward actually the way this is stated, but it could happen in something that you come across. So because we have a product that's multiplication and we know that we're multiplying negative two times something and that something that we're multiplying by is an entire sum. So we have negative two and then I'm gonna use bracket here and the sum of a number and here's the sum and negative three Oops, I didn't put that in right. And then I can close the brackets. So I don't, well, normally I would just say the difference of if I'm gonna add a negative, but this one makes, this is what this is actually saying. I have a product, negative two times, and then I'm multiplying times a sum that is a number and negative three. Okay, number six, the quotient of a number and eight and negative two. So I'm talking about a quotient, and when I talk about a quotient, I'm going to use the uh, fraction bar. So I'm going to say the sum of a number and eight, and I'm going to do um, x plus eight, and then let's say um, negative two. I'm using Microsoft Word uh, Equation Editor, by the way, which allows me to type these in nicely. <clears throat> so it's a quotient, and on the top is the sum of a number and eight. And when we say a sum, we don't really have to worry as much about the order. And then negative two is what we're dividing by. So this looks as sum of a number and eight and negative two. And it's a quotient, which looks like a fraction overall. What if we were going the other way and we were asked to write an algebra expression as word phrases? Well, there's more than one way to write this. Remember up here, we had several different ways that we said subtraction. But the easiest way might just be to say E-I-G-H-T, eight less than a number. But what's another way we could say it? We could say the difference of a number and eight because we have to say the number first because that's what came first in this, okay? 
So there's more than one way you could do that one. All right, what about this one? Uh, this is a subtraction, so I could say the difference of, and then I could say five times a number and one. That would be perfectly fine, five times a number and one. What's another way we could say that? The other way we could say that is one less than five times a number, right? Because we're taking one away from five times a number. Okay, this is a quotient overall, it's a division problem. Um, the quotient of, and then what's on the top? Well, what's on the top is a difference of seven and a number. So I'm gonna say that the quotient of the difference of seven and a number, and then what's the bottom half? It's just 14. So the quotient of, and then what's on the top is the difference of seven and a number, and then 14's on the bottom. And finally, we have the product of, because three is being multiplied times that quantity, the product of three, and the difference of a number and four. There are other ways to say it, but what you want to avoid is saying things like minus this and plus this. Try to use the word sum and difference when you can, and have a great day, and we'll see you next time.